Love is a beautiful thing, especially when it is mutual between a couple. Love should be a two-way thing that is love, should be shown, and be shown back to you. A couple who genuinely loves one another would respect one another, be committed to each other's happiness, and even be ready to make sacrifices when needed. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 that wives should submit to their husbands and the husbands should love their wives as Christ loved the church. It is imperative that a couple that truly loves one another respects each other's wishes and are not manipulative or forceful in making their wish known. There are so many relationships that have ended today as a result of either or both of the spouses being manipulative and controlling. Any relationship where either or both of the spouses is manipulative is surely doomed for failure. These are four signs that warns if a spouse or partner is being manipulative. Number 1. They force you to do things against your will and beliefs. The first thing that should bring a couple together is how they view and respect their different beliefs and values. This is why it is being encouraged that people should marry spouses that share their beliefs values and outlook on life. This makes the relationship easier and the spouses would get along well because they both share a mutual understanding of beliefs and values. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? This is why it is urged to marry someone of your faith and belief in Christ. This way, they won't force you into doing things against your will and desire. They instead help you improve and stay stronger in the faith of Christ Jesus. Any relationship where the spouse is an unbeliever and you are a strong believer of Christ, it can make you derailed because they are not of God. Bad company corrupts good manners. So many young men and women have compromised their faith and belief in Christ because they wanted to please their spouses and make them happy. Any relationship or marriage that makes you do a thing against your will, which is the will of God, should be avoided. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his or her soul in the process? Why try to make your spouse happy to the detriment of your well-being? That is not love. Rather, it shows your spouse is being manipulative and does not respect your own decisions, beliefs, values, and goals. There is a thin line between being committed and getting abused and manipulated in a relationship or marriage. So you must learn to draw the line when your spouse is being manipulative and bring him or her under control. If that person is not ready to yield, then it is better to leave such relationship or marriage rather than endure emotional, physical, and mental abuse under a manipulative partner. Remember, that anything does not reflect the will and purpose of God in your life should be avoided, including relationships and marriages, no matter how dear it is to you. Number 2. They make you feel emotionally insecure. This is one indicator to show a spouse is manipulative and would do anything to make you feel bad and emotionally insecure. When your partner or spouse has trust issues stemming from his or her insecurities, or as a result of him or her being overtly jealous, they would do all that is in their power to make you feel less loved and would try to cage you because of their insecurities and fears. There are instances where the man instructs his spouse not to work or have anything to do with the opposite sex or partner. Others go as far as telling their spouse not to have any interaction with the opposite sex. Some men have issues when other men speak with their wives or partners. The same applies to some women who are very jealous when they see their partners speak with other women. Most even go through their spouse's phones just to make sure their spouse is not cheating on them, thereby rendering such spouse emotionally shackled and blackmailed. This is not the will of God for a relationship. Any relationship that a spouse or partner meet out emotional blackmail and makes the other partner feel insecure is manipulative and wicked. This kind of person does not care about the feelings and emotions of their spouse. They are rather focused on what they want and don't give a hoot concerning what their partner feels. Most of them have trust issues that are not your fault, but stem from their background, childhood past, or beliefs. 
For example, some women believe men are natural cheaters and are open to infidelity. This is something they have not proven, but believe as a fact because they grew up hearing it or they just feel that way. Any relationship that has trust issues cannot experience true love and affection between both spouses because they would operate on a level of suspicion and doubt. Any relationship that makes you feel insecure and you have trust issues should be avoided. Number 3. They are selfish and not ready to sacrifice their effort. There are situations in a relationship that which one of the partners should be ready to sacrifice one thing or the other to make the relationship work. However, if your partner wants you to sacrifice something precious just for their selfish motive, then such a partner is just being unreasonable and manipulative. Take, for instance, a spouse who wants you to quit your job or just stay far from your family and loved ones for no justifiable reason, just because he or she feels the need to do so, just because you are obligated to do so, is just being manipulative. Any partner who wants you to sacrifice your time, effort, and your all to make him or her happy, and they are not willing to do the same, is evil, and it is a sign that he or she is being manipulative and cunning. For a relationship to work properly in peace and joy, there is a need for both spouses to put in a mutual level of commitment and effort, and they must be willing to sacrifice their all to make such a relationship work. When only one of the spouses is putting the effort into the relationship, then the relationship is doomed for failure. Don't let your partner make you do things and sacrifice things that would make you regret in the future. Whatever you are sacrificing for that relationship must be worth it and must be done with a heart that your spouse would do the same for you if he or she is in your shoes. Number 4. They lie a lot and are deceptive. One way a partner or spouse shows he or she is manipulative is that they lie a lot and give false information all the time. They lie to cover their inadequacies and make you feel like the guilty person when they are clearly at fault. This set of people play on your psychology and they abuse the trust you place in them by continually lying and being deceptive. They build their relationship on lies and as time goes on, the truth begins to unravel about their true personality and intentions. They are never trustworthy and are always deceptive. They are people you cannot trust. This kind of people should be avoided. They are only in the relationship for their selfish gains and desires, and the moment they get what they want, they abscond or break up the relationship for the tiniest reason. It is left for you as a child of God to be firm and vigilant. Do not be fooled by good looks or by their innocent look. The Bible describes them as wolves in sheep's clothing who have come to deceive the very elect in Christ Jesus. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 This is why you need the power of the Holy Spirit to discern a spouse that is being manipulative just because of what he or she wants to gain from you. Do not be fooled by love or lust, but be guided by the Holy Spirit in making the right decision concerning a spouse that would truly love and cherish you. A deceptive partner is someone you won't be able to trust. Most of the time they play the blame game. They are always critical and disapproving about your looks, ways and approach. They are prideful and boastful, never accepting fault for their wrongdoings. Beware of people like this because they would subject you to emotional and mental torture in that relationship. In conclusion, the will of God for a relationship and marriage is that both spouses should love themselves equally as Christ loves the church. The moment you notice your spouse is being manipulative, then politely let him or her know. It might be unconscious and letting them know their shortcomings might help them change for better from such an attitude. Also, you must commit such a person to God in prayer. However, if such a person is not ready to admit and change his or her ways, then you should flee such a relationship before it leads to marriage. It is also important you are filled with the Holy Spirit of God to be able to discern a manipulative person.